Hi and welcome to a new video of the ADLM 2000 series. In this episode, we'll cover the calibration process of the ADLM 2000 using Scopy. In order to start the calibration, you need to plug in your device so that it is available in Scopy's Home tab. Make sure the module is disconnected from any other circuitry so that the process is not altered. A message should be displayed on the device's home page that shows the status of the device. In our case, it should say not connected since we haven't established a connection yet. Now press the connect button. Firstly, a status message will be displayed on the home page showing that the device is connecting. After the connection is done, the status will change to connected and the software calibration process will start. This is indicated on the connect button as well as in the message log. After the connection and calibration are done, the device is ready to use and the message log should look like this. It is important to disconnect the analog inputs and outputs of the ADLM2000 from any adjacent circuitry to avoid altering the calibration procedure. If you are done working with the module for the day and you would like to keep your circuit connected, you can enable the Skip Calibration if already calibrated option from the Preferences menu. This way, when you reopen Scopy, the calibration process will not take place and thus will not be affected by your external circuit. Be careful though, if you unplug your module from the computer and then plug it back in, Scopy will recalibrate anyway. The Scopy application also provides the option to recalibrate the device when it is connected. For this, you need to press the Calibrate button available on the home page of the device. Once the calibration starts, the message log updates accordingly, stating if the device is calibrating or if the calibration has finished. This concludes the ADLM 2000 and Scopy calibration procedure. The following videos will handle each instrument separately and after that will provide information on more advanced settings for both the module and Scopy. For more resources and information on the ADLM 2000 module and Scopy, please visit wiki.analog.com. If you have questions that this video did not answer to, please feel free to ask us on the Engineer Zone forum in the Virtual Classroom section. You'll find links to all kinds of helpful pages in the video description. Thanks for watching.